Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, today we have an interesting video for you. Now this is a Surface Zero 2, and you guys can see I am installing Windows, but this is not what it looks like. Uh, so let's go ahead and just, just upgrade this PC now. Yes, let's go ahead and create the Windows, get that all going and everything ready. Now, the reason why it doesn't look like it's not what it looks like. It's because this is just a simulator, Windows 11 simulator on the Surface Duo 2. Uh, this is not actually, you know, Windows 11. Now, you know, there's a lot of speculation right now that Windows 11 could come to Surface Duo 2. And honestly speaking, I said it many times, I'm very excited about the concept and I think it could be a really, really cool concept if it does come to the Surface Duo 2. But again, we have to wait and see what ends up happening with Microsoft because it does look like they want to go ahead and use Android for, for Surface Duo 2. But who knows, maybe they'll change it around. We saw recently some Android phones actually running Windows 11. Um, now it does have to have the ARM architecture to be able to run Windows 11. And depending on what Microsoft does, they could go ahead and probably program it to go ahead and be able to do that. So I think personally, I said this many times, after using the Windows 10 uh, simulator today and then Windows 11 right now, I I kind of like Android better. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like the concept of having a computer type, you know, program on a Surface Duo like this with the dual screens. And if the software was a little bit better for it, more optimized for it, I think it could be absolutely amazing. But it's just one of those things where it's really hard to go ahead and you know get used to what when it comes to being a cell phone if this was bigger and this was actually a surface laptop i would have no issue with this but for this size phone and only six gigabytes of ram uh definitely is um a little bit small for that you guys see we have the little uh mouse icon going around and if you connect you know like for example if you connect a mouse and keyboard to this this could actually get really really cool like i would not mind this if you added a mouse and keyboard to the surface Duo 2 while running this kind of concept of windows 11. so you guys can see we have the wallpaper go ahead and open that up we have all the games uh pins we have the store let's see if that actually works it does so we have the store awesome 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 um let me see how do I get there we go uh, right up here we have connected we have our um, date and time we have that kind of good stuff now I like to say that this is a little bit in my opinion better or worse than the Windows 10 simulator uh, just because again I I have no issue with Windows 11 I have not personally installed it but it's it's kind of glitchy based on what I understand of like right now for me um, now obviously this is Surface Studio, not the actual computer. On the computer it would probably be a lot better. Uh, but still nonetheless though, um, it's a little weird. So usually it's like what I said, Windows 11 on the Surface Studio, it's just, it's a weird concept. So I think that's really all we have over there. Let's see what we got over here. We got the calculator over here. So can we actually move this calculator or no? No, it's just going to be in the middle of the screen. So I mean it still works perfectly fine. You know, if you want to do some math, quick math, whatever. Um, Fire Explorer. Okay, so we have File Explorer opened up just like that. Uh, we can go to our desktop, all applications, stuff like that. Not really going to be much on this. I think everything on this, though, is going to be connected to my phone. So anything on this phone will be in the File Explorer, like, you know, an actual hard drive, an actual computer. So I do like that. It's kind of cool. I will say the hinge in the middle completely disrupts this uh, display and doesn't make it easier to use. Uh, that's definitely a minus. Uh, and then what do we have down here? Okay, we have a store again. So, not too much stuff, I will say, uh, for Windows 11 simulator. Like I said, if the Windows 11 actually did come to the, uh, came to this, it would be a lot, you know, better in my opinion. Uh, do we have file, I'm not file, internet? I don't think we have internet on this. Uh, we have, oh, no, we have Chrome right there, okay. Um, let's see. All right, guys. There we go. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay, you have to buy the things to get that. That kind of sucks. Um, right, let me go ahead and just do that. Sorry, guys. Getting a call real fast. All right, so you have to buy something to get Windows 11 to actually, oh, sorry, launch Google. So, overall, like I said, it's a cool concept. I don't know how many people will actually be buying into the, 
you know, uh, obviously the simulator, but when it comes to the actual full on Windows 11, if it does come to this uh, Surface Duo 2, I think it can be really good. And just, like, let me say the latest, okay? So, this is how I uh, imagine Windows 11 would work on this. By the way, guys, I'm using another, I'm using a new mic. So, usually I use my iPhone audio. I actually am using a lab mic right now. I did a review of it a little while ago. But, anyway, though, just, just looking at this right fast, you know, how I think this would work, right, is down here, we kind of with the Windows 10 simulator, we had, like, phone, you know, messages, that kind of stuff, all your phone stuff would be in the left hand corner here so you can use that and be able to make calls or you know do whatever you need to do and then the rest of it would be the functionality of an actual computer so like I said I don't know how much I really buy into the whole concept that how you know useful this simulator is but I definitely buy in the concept of Windows 11 I think Windows 11 if they can make it work properly with this device could make this device really really good and can we use okay so we can't use any of it okay uh simulator kind of sucks for that reason but <laughs> it's it's the principle of just being able to launch it up it can we launch okay now you have to buy you literally have to buy everything for this wow um so like i said cool concept cool idea i'm interested to see how much more you know like more simulators will come out for this but also being able to really when it does come out if we're going to actually get windows 11 how optimized it will be now i said this in my last video i think if they do go ahead and release this on windows 11 it has to have at least at least eight to ten gigabytes of ram there's no way they're going to do less than that right now it's six they can't do seven they have to do I, I honestly think at least 10 my goal or my idea is 10 to 12 gigabytes of ram i think that would be enough to run dual screens and be able to actually run windows 11. now when it comes to you know the surf i mean the galaxy flip uh full 2 the full 2 has 12 gigabytes of ram that's good amount for the size ratio you're getting in the device you're getting in the hardware you're going to be running on that device software you're going to be running on that device so like i said microsoft you know they created windows if they're going to go ahead and make it look good and make it work good i definitely think they can go ahead and do so but tell me down below your thoughts and opinions and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out